What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this. And I'll also show you how to reappear. It's super simple, you will be needing a plugin, and the plugin you're going to be needing is from Sapphire Plugins. So head over to the description and download it if you don't have it already. It is a paid plugin, but you do get a lot of video effects and a lot of transitions. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 now, let's just run through how to actually record the video. First thing, it needs to be on a tripod and then what you want to do is set it up and simply have a blank background. So of course I was sitting on this chair, therefore I'm going to record it without myself in it. It's very important you do this and what you want to do from here is make sure you change the preview to best and full. You then want to save a snapshot to file by selecting this button. Call it what you want to, I'll just rename this one over background. And then as you can see, we get it in our projects media. What you're going to do is drag and drop this underneath the video and just stretch out for the duration. So let's get to the part where I want the disintegration effect to happen. So as you can see, right here is where it's going to end. I'm going to press S on my keyboard and then we're going to trim the clip until we start talking again which is what I'm going to do to here. And notice this is currently what we have. So basically I'm off screen, but we still have the background. Now from here, all you're going to be doing is heading over to transitions and you want to look for S underscore wipe diffuse. And it's this one right here. Like I said, you will need Sapphire plugins. So if you don't see it, it's because you don't have Sapphire plugins. Simply drag and drop this at the end of your clip. And then you can see you're going to go off screen. What you want to do is just zoom in and first of all you can see the direction it's coming from now it's coming from the left if you want to change it of course you have control of the angle here so i can change it to 180 and that will change it so then it's going to come from the right so it's completely optional to you which angle you pick i'll just set it back to zero for this tutorial and you don't need to change anything else you can play around the settings but it's not necessary as you can see, that is what we get. You will need to turn down the preview quality, so then hopefully it won't play with any lag. As you can see, that's what we get. Now bear in mind, notice the effect takes over the entire video. If you just want it on just you, you will need to mask every single frame around yourself, then drag on the effect. But you can see this is just a quicker way of doing it. Now to make yourself reappear, it's gonna be the exact same thing. Drag and drop this, except at the start, then, of course, once again, if you want to change the angle, I will for this one. So I'm going to change the angle to 180. You can X out of it, playing it through. That's what we get. Now, of course, this gap between, you can either shorten it or make it longer. It won't make a difference to the effect. So just play it through one more time. Just like that, you're finished.